Hey guys. Back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before today's gonna be a hair video and today i'm going to be reviewing almost 600 dollars like curler blow dryer this is the dyson air wrap and then i'm going to be comparing it to a dupe that pretty much copied them but it's called five in one hot air styler it's almost christmas time i know people are making their christmas lists i do know a lot of people are wanting this for christmas this year because there's videos left and right of this product that i've seen and i started seeing these a lot and i'm like bro i want to test it out see if it's actually worth the amount of money over 500 dollars for a hair product is a lot um if I was not a YouTuber, probably never would buy this. Because I was just originally going to do a review on this product. So I asked you guys on Instagram. And I was like, would you guys want to see a review video on this? And then I asked on my little community tabs on YouTube. Like, would you guys want to see a review on this? There was 50-50. A lot of people are saying, no, I know someone who has it. And it's really overrated. It's not, like, the best. And then, on the other hand, all the other people were saying, I have it. It changed my life. My hair is so healthy. It's, like, the best product ever. And I'm just like... But, you know, if you got money like that, if you're saving up for it, if you're asking your parents something for Christmas, this is going to be the video where I'm going to tell you if it's good or not. After I'm done filming this little intro part, I am going to watch videos on how to use it because I've seen a lot of people use it and all the comments are, no, you need to use it the right way, you're using it wrong. So I'm going to do research and stuff before I fully use it. I want to get the best results that I can. This one's around $60 and this one's a little less than $600. I said $660 because it looked better for the title but you guys it's not far off from 600 but i'm gonna explain everything that is in it, it has a hair dryer has two air wrap barrels two brushes firm smoothing brush and then one with a soft smoothing brush and then it has a round volumizing brush i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm really excited for this video Ooh. so it has like a little leather case Let's slip that out you get a nice leather case it says dyson on it opens up oh okay okay this is really heavy got this john and then you have all of your stuff in here and i will say i'm really happy that it came with all this because like you can store it like this you don't need to worry about your stuff going missing like losing pieces and all that i'm gonna leave it like this and i'm now going to open the dupe version obviously we're seeing a little bit different in the packaging which I know that might not matter to some people at all. It kind of does for me when I'm buying something that's more expensive. But if you're buying this one and it's less expensive, then... They have all the same attachments, it looks like. Oh, no, they do not, actually. For the dupe, there's only two of the air wrap barrels. And in the Dyson one, there's four. And then in the dupe one, there's only one of these brushes. And then there's two of those in the Dyson. But I will say right off the bat, the Dyson one is so much better quality. Like, if you just look like this is literally plastic, you can just tell. Like, this one just seems so much better quality. I mean, I was expecting that because you're getting something for almost $600 and something for $60, so it's obviously going to be different. We're going to dive in more to the actual, like, heating, the thing that powers it, you know, and, like, see the difference. The Dyson one is a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see on the Dyson one, there's so many more settings going on. I know there's, like, cool versions and stuff. This just has 0, 1, 2, 3. Also, a main reason why I got the Dyson was because it's supposed to be better for your hair because of, like, the cooling and, like, how it works with, like, the air. It's supposed to be healthier. It's not supposed to damage your hair as much. This one only has three settings. It looks like there's there's no cool settings, which really sucks because I thought there was going to be cool settings on it. So definitely the Dyson's winning with the cool settings part because that's like one of the main reasons why I bought it. I'm going to go do some research off camera and figure out how to use this thing. And then I'm going to use this one and then I will come back in a few days. I'm going to have washed hair again and we are going to use the dupe version. But we have an issue now because my hair is dry. I went and made a food and watched a bunch of videos. My hair is damp back here. This is my hair when it naturally dries. 
it has a little bit more wave to it you know some parts are really wavy some parts are slightly and some parts are completely straight I don't know my hair is weird so I already did put some products in my hair I'm gonna show all the products I use for my hair in my hair care routine that's gonna be out probably a few days after this video first thing I put in my hair when I get out is detangling spray and I really like this one and then I go in with this and it's chi silk infusion and this has heat protectant this stuff makes your hair feel like silk and then um, and then I went in in with the Olaplex bonding oil which has heat protectant and I've been more diligent on putting heat protectant in my hair because I used to not do that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my hair with water to make it wet again we need my hair to be more wet to get a real review again testing all the dice and thingies on our head ah, it's on okay oh it like it like vibrates when you turn it off. It's not that loud. I do like that. I hate when certain blow dryers and blow dry like round brushes are so freaking loud because if I gotta do my hair in the morning or if I'm like filming a TikTok at night and like people are sleeping and not wanting to hear a loud blow dryer, it's just annoying. There's like a little lock thing right here and instantly when you put it in, it's locked and if you wanna take it out, you just like press down on it. This is called a pre-styling blow dryer because if you don't know, Dyson has like their own blow dryer and it's not the same. I guess that one is more powerful and it has more settings. This one is more to get your hair like more on the damp side so then you can go in with the other stuff because while using all of the other tools, it is drying your hair. Like when we're gonna curl it, it's drying your hair. I don't think you're really supposed to use this to like style your hair. It's just supposed to make your hair less wet. So I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna go and blow like in my roots and stuff all right that is powerful like my roots feel dry too like that was really easy like that is it, it, let's be honest the main thing we're reviewing here is going to be the curling things and for me personally is going to be the round brush because i use that the most but i am going to test all of it i'm going to go over these really quick if people are curious about them this one is a firm smoothing brush i think this one is for more like textured hair like more coarse hair and then this one is a soft smoothing brush so so this one's more for frizz. This is more to just get a straighter look. And this one also says it has like these little beads on it to be more gentle on your scalp. I feel like everyone knows how these work. Like, I feel like we've seen these a million times. I did a few passes and I mean, it's straight. I feel like this is definitely more for people who have like just naturally fluffier, like curlier, maybe coarse or frizzy hair. And you need to take extra steps to smooth out your hair before you go in with curling your hair. Um, I have a feeling that's what this is, but yeah, I mean, it does the job. I have the other brush and I'm just gonna take a chunk from right here and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Alright, so I went through that for a few passes, kind of just did like the same exact thing. Oh my gosh, my hair feels so soft. That piece of hair up here was pretty damp and this is not getting hot, like super hot. It's like warm air and it's drying it like really, really quickly. Um, I don't understand what's going on. I don't really know how it works. I'm going to go and section my hair really quick because I'm going to do it from the bottom up. And this is all my bottom hair. It's a little bit more poofy. My bottom hair definitely has more of a wave to it, but this is like brushed out and stuff, so it's gonna be like poofier. I've been thinking about doing a video on doing the curly girl method on my hair. In no way, shape, or form am I saying I have curly hair. I definitely do not, but I do have quite a bit of a wave on the underneath portion of my hair. I've gotten a bunch of people tell me like, girl, you have wavy hair, like take care of it, but I like, blow drying my hair a lot so Dyson comes with four barrels one of them is 1.2 inches and then one of them is 1.6 inches they have little arrows on them so if you want to be curling away from your face you're gonna be using this one because your hair is gonna be going in that direction so if you want it to be curling in towards your face you're gonna use this one because it's gonna be going like that I'm actually gonna take the bigger barrel and I'm gonna be doing this section I want to go away from my face I like that it automatically like locks in so I've seen two ways that people do it I've seen it where they put their ends like this and then they go like this but i've also seen people go like this and wrap it and hold it like that and that gives more volume so i'm gonna test it on both sides to see the difference
All right, I don't think that was bad for the first time. I kicked it on the cool setting for a second. All right, so that is the curl. And honestly, like if you go like that, that looks like a loose curl from a curling iron. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Um, also, this hair was a little bit damp. It is completely dry, completely dry. And this like does not get that hot. Like it's hot, but I can touch it. Oh my gosh, wait, that is so pretty. I feel like I did a good job for my first time ever trying it. So we're gonna try the other method. So if you're going like this, you're gonna want the arrows to be going this way so I don't have to change it because it's like the opposite. What I saw people doing was they take it and they wrap it around around it like this and then they turn it on all right was that piece in there that piece is kind of straight oh yeah i like that one way more there's definitely this straight piece that should not be in there but oh my god gosh I, I definitely like this way better and what people were saying was for this way it gives you more body like right here and for this one it just kind of curls at your ends you guys can obviously pick which one you like better wow holy crap okay this straight piece keeps uh getting in the mix get out of here there was like definitely a big part of me where i thought this was gonna go wrong i'm kind of really excited because i was scared like this wasn't gonna be up to par and i was gonna have to go return it this one's definitely way less voluminous than this one also i feel like this one got more of my layers in there and if we comb out this one see so yeah i definitely like this one so much better okay i'm sorry if i'm being dramatic this is just so cool just with those results i would say buy it <laughs> maybe i'm getting ahead of myself the main reason why i say that is because curling irons damage your hair so much okay well i'm just gonna start doing it to my whole head because i want to see what it looks like and then when we get to the curtain bangs i'm gonna test out the round brush so i think i'm gonna be doing it like i did this one just because it came out so good and I'm not gonna comb through them and stuff right now. I'm, I'm gonna kind of curl them like this and just let them sit and then at the very end we'll like brush them out. Oh! All right, this thing's like actually amazing. See, majority of the people that I saw that said they didn't like it in videos and stuff, they weren't really using it right. That's why I did so much freaking research before and like wanted to watch a bunch of videos and make sure I did it right because I feel like that is a major factor if you're going to like do a review on it. My hair is so, I don't know if it's being, my hair is so shiny. I'm gonna test it on my brother. Say hi. hi. You guys don't see him a lot. His, oh. name, his name is Colin. All right, I'm gonna test this on your hair. It's this loud, so you're not scared. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna just be like curling his little piece right here because I'm curious to see what it looks like. It's not, that's really hot. It's not really hot. Ow. I thought I was looking at my hair. It's not, you're being dramatic. <laughs> Hey, that actually kind of looks good. Well, I didn't really do the best job, but hey. Okay, thank you for participating. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm getting confused by the arrows and I keep doing it backwards. stop being mind blown how amazing this is like also my hair feels and looks extremely healthy this is it before they're like brushed out i'm just letting them sit so they set for this section when i curl my hair i like to curl it kind of under so i'm going to hmm So I'm gonna take the round brush attachment, put that on there, and I am going to use it just like how I use all of my round brushes. I am going to take it and flip it up, and I don't know if I should put a roller in it or not. I kind of want to. All right, that 
that is it right out of it. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit for like a few minutes until it cools. This is the rest of the hair. I've not brushed it out. I am just gonna take this white tooth comb. Definitely like more of like a bouncier wave than a full on ringlet curls. I'm gonna take a little bit of hair oil and I like it because it just makes your hair look so moisturized. up like how shiny my hair is right now it did it made my hair look so much fuller all right well that is it for the dyson review portion of this video the next clip you're going to see i'm going to have freshly washed hair and i'm going to be testing the dyson dupe hey it's literally been like a couple weeks um i just took a shower just washed my hair and my hair is damn perfect to do this video also i have a little bit of a different haircut than the last time but it's still gonna show how the product works the same or doesn't work the same i got a little trim and my bangs are shorter that video is already up All right i got my blow dryer right here i'm just gonna go in My dog is in here and she did not like that. Why won't this work? It's like it goes and it doesn't lock. Hello? Bro, am I stupid or is this stupid? Because it has a little thing. It looks like you put it in and twist it. Bro, what? <coughs> oh, I barely had it on. It smells like full-blown plastic. It won't stay on. Oh, you just have to be really forceful with it. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to be honest, guys. If this really does smell like plastic and seems like it's like burning my hair, I'm not going to do my whole entire head. It's smoking. Can you guys see that? You know the smell that like a hot glue gun gives off? That is what this smells like. I really hope you guys don't think I'm being dramatic. Like this smells so bad. I'm gonna take a strand from the bottom and use the curler thing to see if it even works. And then we're gonna go from there, okay? I feel scammed. That means I wasted $70 on this. I could try and return it. The whole purpose of this video was supposed to be like the Dyson and then a dupe and to show like the difference. I don't think that's gonna happen because like these don't even work like at all. And I had like a couple people tell me this one. I don't know if you guys, if I got a different one, I don't know. All I know is that this thing's really bad and it smells really bad, especially the blow dryer. This stuff is such cheap plastic. Literally feel like this would melt if I used it long enough. This video is not ending how I thought it was and I'm sorry if you guys thought you guys were gonna get a dupe. There might be some dupes out there that are like pretty good but it's like I would rather just save up and buy the Dyson or I'd rather just use a curling iron or I'd rather just use a blow dryer. Buying a dupe for this I honestly feel like would be a waste of money. Even though the Dyson is so expensive it still would be a waste of money to buy a dupe because I wasted $70 on this and it it literally doesn't work how it says it does. But then, of course, the main question of this video, is the Dyson worth it and should you buy it? It depends. If you want one and you can spend the money on it without it being an issue, go get one. It's amazing. It does take some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it makes my hair feel like extremely soft, made it super shiny. It lasted a long time too, like the style of it, and you're getting so much in it. So if you can afford it, then get it. If you can't afford it, it's not really the end of the world. It's something that you don't need but it is a very good product if that makes sense if you want to save up the money for it do it because it is great it's just not needed i have another review coming up on a hair product that i'm quite excited about say bye <laughs> bye